In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this headband. We start casting on three stitches. You have to cast on three stitches. Make a slip knot and cast on the three stitches. We have to work the seat stitch. To make the seat stitch you have to make one knit stitch, continue with one purl stitch and continue with one knit stitch. In the row number two you have to make increases at the beginning and at the beginning and at the end of the row. To make the increase you have to knit the first stitch you don't have to remove the stitch from the needle and you have to knit also the back loop to make the increase. Continue with the stitch of the middle making the seat stitch. In this case we have a knit stitch so we have to make a purl stitch to continue with the seat stitch. And you have to make also an increase on the last stitch. One knit stitch on the front loop. You don't have to remove the stitch from the needle and you have to knit the back loop. We have now five stitches. We have made, we made now one row with increases. Now we don't have to make increases in this row. We have to continue working the seat stitch on the stitches. Remember where you have a purl stitch you have to make a knit stitch and when you have and where you have a knit stitch you have to make a purl stitch. Row number four. You have to make also two increases in this row. You have to start with one increase on the first stitch. So knit the first stitch. You don't have to remove the stitch from the needle and knit the back loop of the stitch. We made one increase. Continue with three stitches, making the seat stitch. And one increase at the end of the row. On the last stitch you have to make also one increase. We have now seven stitches. Row number five. You have to continue working the seat stitch. You don't have to make increases now. You have to continue making increases to have 11 stitches. I explained you one more time how to make the increases. You have to knit the first stitch, you don't have to remove the stitch from the needle and you have to work a knit stitch also on the back loop. Work the seat stitch on the stitches of the middle and make also one increase on the last stitch. Continue making the seat stitch and increases to have 11 stitches. Remember, you have to make one row with increases and on the other row you don't have to make increases. Once we have the 11 stitches, we have to make 10 rows without increases, making the seat stitch. 10 rows without increases, working the 11 stitches with the seat stitch.
Remember that to make the sit a stitch you have to follow on the stitch where you have a knit a stitch, where you have like a V under the stitch, you have to make a purl a stitch. You have to make a purl a stitch on the knit a stitches and you have to make knit a stitches on the purl a stitches. Once you make the 10 rows, you have to start making decreases. How you have to make the decrease? You have to make two stitches together. You have to, you have to make two stitches together. You have to see which stitch you have to make in the second stitch. In this case, in the second stitch, I have to make a purl a stitch. So you have to purl the two stitches together. You have to work the seat stitch to have only two stitches. And you have to work the two stitches, the two last stitches together. Also, you have to follow the seat stitch. Uh, you have to work now the two stitches together. You have to make on the next row, you have to work the seat stitch without decreases. You have to make nine stitches. Row 22. You have to work also one decrease at the beginning and one decrease at the end. So let's see the second stitch. We have to make a knit a stitch on the second stitch, so you have to knit two together, knit the two stitches together. Continue with the seat stitch to two stitches before the end. and work also the two last stitches together. Once you have only seven stitches, you have to work eight rows with the seat stitch, eight row without increases or decreases. Now you have to start again with the increases. You have to work increases to have 15 stitches. So remember how to make the increases. You have to knit the first stitch. You don't have to remove the stitch from the needle and you have to knit the back loop of the stitch. Work the seat stitch in the middle and make also another increase at the last stitch. On the following row, you don't have to make increases. You have to work the seat stitch normally. Again, one row with increases. Make one increase at the beginning of the row, at the first stitch, make one increase. Continue with the seat stitch to the end of the row.
and make also one increase at the end of the row. Remember that on the next row you don't have to make increases, you have to make the seat stitch normally. This is the way to continue making increases to have 15 stitches. Once you have the 15 stitches, you can make more increases if you want or less increases to make the headband uh, bigger or smaller and you have to work the seat stitch without increases or decreases to have the width of the head. In my case, to make a headband for a 4 years old girl, I will make 48 centimeters. So continue making the seat stitch to have the width of the head. And once you have the width of the head, you have to make what you made on the other side of the headband. You have to make the same, but starting from the other side. So you have to start making decreases, work a straight part, increases again, and then make the point with the decreases. So start making decreases. You have to make one decrease at the beginning of the row. Remember that you have to work the stitch, uh, the, sec the stitch that you have to make on the second stitch. In this case, I have to make a purl stitch, so purl two together. Continue making the seat stitch to two stitches before the end. And once you are at the end of the row, you have to work two stitches together. In my case, this is my row number 122 and I have to make one stitch in all the stitches. I don't have to make decreases now, making, finishing with 13 stitches with the seat stitch. Row number 123, again one decrease. stitches in the middle and one decrease. You have to continue making decreases to have only seven stitches. Once you have the seven stitches, you have to work eight rows with the seven stitches working the seat stitch. Now we have to start increasing again. You have to make, in my case is my row 136 I have to make one increase, five stitches, five stitches making the seat stitch, and again one increase. 
finishing with nine stitches. One row without increases, nine stitches of the seat stitch. Again, one row with increases, one increase, seven stitches, one increase, Now you have to make 10 rows without increases, you have to make 10 rows with 11 stitches. And then start decreasing to finish the point of the headband. You have to make one decrease, seven stitches, one decrease. Continue on the following row with 9 stitches, 9 seat stitches. In my case this is my row 151 and 51, 1 decrease, 5 stitches and 1 decrease. You have to continue making decreases, remember 1 row with decreases. and one row without decreases to have only three stitches once you have the three stitches you have to make one stitch one decrease turn and knit the two last stitches together to finish the point you have to cut the yarn and you have to make now a knot to make the bow And you finished the headband.